Hi everybody, welcome back to the Hard Reset Info channel. Today I'm going to tell you how to fix the Bluetooth pairing or connection issues in your Samsung Galaxy A17. So, actually some users have trouble with connecting the Galaxy 17 phone to Bluetooth accessories like headphones here. And at first, I do recommend to toggle the Bluetooth on and off. Scroll down to the control panel here from the top right corner to the bottom and turn off your Bluetooth by just tapping on it. After 10 seconds maximum, turn, off, turn on your Bluetooth back again and often a quick reset connection can resolve minor glitches. So I think everything should be fine now. If that didn't help you, you have to now open the settings, go to connections, go to Bluetooth and make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. <laughs> if it's turned on, that's nice. Now go to your device here, tap this gear icon and tap unpair. You have to unpair your device and then pair it again. Just do a repair. So now let's take my headphones. These are random Philips headphones. So don't worry. Let's hold the power button to enter the pairing mode. Now they are powered off. Now they are powered on. Now they are in pairing mode. Let's scan for the devices at first. And Philips TAH8506 should be here. Let's turn them on. Tap pair. And now everything should be fine. And your quick bugs should be now fixed. Everything should be fine. And yeah. So now I do recommend to clear the Bluetooth cache. So now to clear the Bluetooth cache. Uh, go to the settings main menu now go to applications um, here and now you have to um, filter to the system applications or if you don't want to filter just find the bluetooth here tap and bluetooth here as I guess we don't have bluetooth so we have to filter it nicely here, maybe here, these three dots, tap special access. And now we have to now search for the something called Bluetooth. Wi-Fi control VR, usage data access alarms, install on apps, apps that use data, picture in picture, premium, text messages, change media output, change system settings. Tap on the change system settings. Here now you have to search for the uh, search for the Android service or something like that. Here as you can see we have Android Auto, Android Switch. Let's scroll down. Scroll down. We don't have here any Android, unfortunately. So make sure that every single Android here is turned on. Turned on. Here as I can see, unfortunately we don't have the um, we don't have the Bluetooth itself as the application, so we have to go back, go back and go back to connections. Here, open Bluetooth back again and tap these three dots in the top right corner. Tap advanced settings and here you should find uh, Bluetooth scan history and Bluetooth control history. For as we have here no applications, so Bluetooth scan history, no applications. Apart from that, if you have here blocked pairing requests, make sure that your headphones are not in here. You may turn on this by accident. Now, as for the cache, should, it should be now good. Now, make sure that you have no interference and no update. And update, I mean, the update your phone. <laughs> make sure that no other Bluetooth devices are interfering turn off Bluetooth on Nerby and NIOS devices and also check for a software update as Bluetooth fixes can be included in patches. So go here to the main menu and scroll down to the software update. Tap that, connect to the internet and tap download and install. 
it should fix your issue if you have here some update. Maybe this is the Bluetooth update, Bluetooth stable, the stability update. And once done, connect to your Bluetooth headphones and check if everything is now working nicely. Uh, if it isn't, go back, go back again and scroll to the general management here. Tap that and here tap reset. Now scroll a little bit down and find the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings. It will make you forget all the made settings for the Bluetooth, all made settings for the Wi-Fi, all devices uh, in the Bluetooth and all uh, networks in the Wi-Fi. So you have to make sure that you remember the passwords. <laughs> tap that, tap reset settings. Now uh, our phone won't reboot, but I do recommend to have your phone rebooted. So, hold the volume down button and the power button simultaneously at the same time. But don't do a screenshot and don't enter somewhere else. And tap here restart. Now everything should be working fine after reboot. Now as I can see our phone is being turned on, so let's wait a moment. Now let's unlock our phone with the pin code and check now if you can connect and if your connection is stable with your Bluetooth devices. If it is, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. But if it isn't, I do recommend to contact now to the device support or try connecting a different device. Uh, contact, uh, try contacting the device Samsung of the right services for the help because it may be just a uh, hardware issue or even if it's not a hardware issue they will fix your phone because, because you may have the warranty because the phone is it's now for the 27th of uh, August it's brand new. And that's it for this video. If you found this video help please consider subscribing to our channel, uh, leaving a like and uh, yeah. Uh, if you have some drawbacks, leave them or maybe questions, leave them in the comments below. And that's it. Hope it helps you and goodbye.